Hi everyone, thank you for stopping by to watch this tutorial on a Chrome extension called Library Extension. In this video, you will learn to search and install the extension, add local libraries to your account, and test whether the extension works on Goodreads and Amazon. Library Extension is a Google Chrome feature that allows you to see what books are available at your public library while you are browsing websites like Goodreads or Amazon. It is a useful tool when you find yourself jumping between the library's catalog to search for books and returning to Goodreads to read reviews. The extension allows you to see whether they are available with a quick glance at a list of available copies as well as a direct link on the website. You can add as many libraries as you like to your account, and the list will include hard copies at the library's physical location as well as ebooks and audiobooks. To begin, go to the Google Chrome Web Store at chrome.google.com slash web store and search for a library extension. The icon looks like a stack of books against a teal background. On the pop-up dialog box, you can read about the extension before clicking the Add to Chrome button and the Add Extension button. Once the extension is finished installing, you'll be taken to the library extension webpage, which offers some helpful tips on getting started. Next, you'll want to add libraries to your account. To do so, you'll need to go to your list of extensions in Chrome. Click on the menu icon that looks like three dots on the upper right-hand corner of your browser. Go to More Tools and Extensions. A new tab will appear listing your extensions. Look for the library extension and click on Options. A window will pop up to allow you to add libraries to your account. You can choose the state and then the library and click the green plus symbol to add a library. You can add as many libraries as you want depending on how many accounts you have, and when you are finished, click Close. Now let's test if the extension works by going to Goodreads and searching for a book on your to-read list. This is what a Goodreads page will look like without the extension. But with the extension, you'll notice that right beneath the description of the book, the library extension feature should load automatically with a list of available checkouts at the libraries you've added to your account. To test whether this works, I clicked on the main LA Public Library's Borrow button, which took me to the library's catalog of physical books. Below that, on the extension, you can also see what ebooks and audiobooks are available. Clicking on those will take you to the checkout page for the digital versions of those books. On Amazon, the list automatically pops up on the right column where the Add to Cart usually is, so you can easily decide whether or not a book is worth buying or checking out at the library. You'll notice that the Add to Cart box has not been replaced, but just shifted down beneath the library extension list. That concludes our tutorial in which you learned how to install the extension, add libraries to your account, and test whether the app works on Goodreads and Amazon. Library Extension is a time-saving tool that also reminds you to support the local library and save money. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find the Library Extension useful. Thank you again for watching.